Today we have treats from Italy. Italia. Do you guys like my accent? It's not a good one. I don't do a very good accent. Italy, guys, so we're gonna start with these delicious little candies. Now, this just is a pack of two, and I know that they come in really large packs, but when I was checking out at the register, they had this little pack, and I thought, I have to try these. So there's a small little picture there of what they look like, and it looks like um, chocolate then like a hazelnut, and then over the top is a white chocolate. Not filling, it's not the filling. It's on the outside. Shell, 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 shell's the word, shell's the word. Okay, so that's what that looks like. There's two pieces in here. Let's open it up. Oh, how adorable. Okay, these are so cute. I love when things are individually wrapped. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna try to take a, in a good enough bite that you guys can see the center part of it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Delicious. Wow. The chocolate inside has like pieces of hazelnut and then you get an entire hazelnut on top and then the chocolate coating on the outside is perfection. I would give these guys five Vivian heads these they're crackers and when i first picked them up i thought they were like you know when you go to an italian restaurant how they give you olive oil with some italian herbs and you can dip the bread in there that's what i thought these were but i don't think so i'm not sure when you would eat these crackers or how like during dinner or as a snack i don't know let's try <laughs> I lied. I lied. I lied. And they're just in the cutest shape. Look, like pasta. Yeah, they make just everything into like pasta shapes. There it is. I always put my hand like that. Here it is. <laughs> okay, ready? It smells like olive oil. It smells like crackers. Yeah. Not bad. It almost, if I'm just looking at it, it has the texture of a shortbread. Oh, that would be amazing if they had like salty with a little bit of olive oil flavor and they were the texture, like that crumbly, buttery texture of shortbread cookies. Oh my God, that would be just heaven. Let's see. Close? No, actually. That is, dude, that's so good. I'm guessing this stuff. That is exactly what it has in there. Now the outside of it is a little bit crispier, but the inside, the hell? The inside is definitely the same texture of a buttery, crumbly shortbread cookie. Now, I would give these guys three and a half Vivian heads. These are next, and this poor little box has traveled across the ocean, and it is just all kind of torn up and poor thing. I'd be surprised if the cookies are, I think they're cookies, yeah. You can see right there. Um, I hope that the cookies are not all crumbled. I think they're an almond cookie, and the box somewhere I read that they have been around, yeah, since 1860. So I am excited. So I believe these are like traditional Italian faux show products. I think in Puerto Rico we have something similar to this too. You see? <gasps> Look. How cute. They come in red, no, pink, blue, and yellow. How adorable are these? They're like little pinata thingies. I'm wondering if these are, again, Christmas items. Okay, let's try them. Oh, and it's like waxy kind of paper. Okay, so in Puerto Rico, if you're Puerto Rican or you've been to Puerto Rico, these look like a polvorones. That's what they remind me of. They, the consistency, the way they look, I think that's what these are. And I hope so. Oh my God, I haven't had one of those in so long. So let's get, oh wow, they have a really, really strong almond smell. Really strong almond. Is that almond? That is almond, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's almond. Yeah. Oh wow, 
That is very strong almond smell. Okay, and there I can't oh, wait. Boy, borones are hard. They're not like chewy. These I just squish it. Look, it's like a chewy cookie that just broke into a thousand pieces on me. Oh, look. oh shit, they're gonna fall all over the place. Okay, here we go. Don't drop it. Oh, it looks so good. They're very soft. There's something else in there besides almond. I wonder if it has coconut. It kind of tastes like coconut in there too. Um, they're a bit sweet and I have a sweet tooth so you know that they're a bit sweet. The consistency is really nice. And once I chew it, it literally melts in my mouth. And I cannot pinpoint what other flavors are in there. I think there's coconut in here. I could be wrong. I probably am. But they're definitely a soft almond cookie and they're so good. I would give these guys three and a half Vivian heads. Now I picked this up at World Market and um, it is World Market brand, but it is an Italian coffee soda. What? What? Uh, it's new to me. This is completely, I've never heard of this before. It is a carbonated water with cane sugar and some kind of coloring with coffee extract. And it is a product of Italy. So let's try, let me open it. Whoa, this is like Starbucks. Here's my baby ink up. Ooh, I smell coffee. It smells like, you know when you write when you walk into a Starbucks, how you just get that pure black coffee, kind of coffee bean smell? That's what this smells like. Oh wow, I cannot wait. Come on, it's mom, you'll love this. Oh my God, guys, it tastes like coffee. It's like the best of both worlds. You want a soda pop and you want coffee, Boom, pick up one of these motherfuckers. They're so good. So it tastes just like coffee, it's not too sweet, it has just the perfect amount of sugar, and it is cold, and it has no kind of creams or dairy in it. Oh, I am so impressed with this stuff, you guys. You have to give this a try. You are going to be surprised, especially if you love coffee. So I would give this guy five Vivian heads. I got a giant pocket, bigger than my head. These are product of Italia. They're croissants. And at first when I picked them up, I thought they had like a chocolate filling in them, but they don't. It's a cherry filling. I'm excited because I love cherry and I love croissants, but croissants are just the best, like the day they're made or like the next day at the most. <laughs> so I don't know, these have been sitting on a shelf somewhere. I don't know if the freshness kills the product. I don't know, we'll see. Look how huge this package is. I mean, I'm expecting the croissants to be like this big, it's big in my head. <laughs> yeah. um, let's see. What does that smell like? It smells weird. It's a little box. There's tons of them in here. Oh, how fun! It's a party! It's like little pies. They look like pies. Look. Five? Six? There's six. Let's open one. And see. You know what it smells like? It smells like candy. Candy? I don't know what that smells like. Cotton candy? That's what it looks like. I don't know. Hmm. Does it look appetizing? It doesn't look old. I don't know if it just keeps all the freshness in this little baggie, but we'll give it a go. I bet if you put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, it probably tastes a little bit better, but we're just gonna taste it right out of the packaging. There was no instructions to stick it in the microwave. Uh-uh. We're just gonna try. How disappointing. <laughs> it says, I mean, you guys saw the picture. Look at that cherry filling all oozing out and ooh, so much cherry filling. False advertising. Like there's a tiny little nugget of cherry filling right there, but I guess I'll try this side. Okay, let's try that. Not bad. You know, I'm surprised that the actual 
croissant is actually still fresh and it tastes pretty decent. It's not bad. The disappointing part is that the filling is not all the way through or oozing out like the picture showed, but the, the actual bread itself is decent. The filling, it's okay. You can tell it's kind of like a artificial flavor. The filling's not that great and there's not enough of it. I would give these guys two and a half Vivian heads. That's it, folks. We are done with Italia. Thank you so much for coming back for another taste test video. I have so much fun making these. I say that every time and I just do. I know you guys are enjoying them because I'm getting so much great feedback. Do not forget to share it with your friends. Tell everybody about them so that they can come enjoy them as well. Do not forget, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what country I should do next. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the new videos that are coming out every week. I'll see you next time. Bye.